Researchers at the Indian Institute of Science came up with a new representation of pi in their paper on string theory. We'll have a brief overview of this formula in this video. Now before starting let's have a quick glance over, over some prerequisites. The gamma function is defined as the following integral and it's commonly known as an extension of the factorial function where gamma of n is n minus 1 factorial. Another important identity is the value of gamma of half which is square root of pi. Keep a note of these two properties. Next we have the beta function which is defined in the following way in terms of the gamma function. The paper starts with the mention of the following expression. Lastly we have this notation that involves parenthesized a with a suffix b which is gamma of a plus b over gamma a. The authors considered a generalized version of the beta function and they came up with this following representation with p being 2 alpha minus beta. Plugging in alpha equals 0 and beta equals 1 we have the value of p as minus 1 and substituting gives the following expressions. Finally plug in minus half in place of s1 and s2. Let's change the expressions. Now have a look at this expression. The numerator is gamma half squared which means it's pi and gamma of 2 is in the denominator is 1 factorial which is 1. Therefore we get pi equal to the below expression. The paper writes it with minor rearrangements. Another amazing fact is that when we allow lambda to approach infinity, the sum simply turns out to be 4 times the Madhava series for pi. And interestingly, the current sum converges to pi much faster than the Madhava series.